And Luke, why is there a barricade on the studio door? Well, did you see that last week there was a blood moon? Yeah. Like in Zelda! Well, I know that means there's going to be tons of monsters outside now thanks to Calamity Ganon, so I've barricaded myself and you inside. You're welcome. Uh, Luke, it was actually just a lunar eclipse that they nicknamed the Blood Moon because it made the moon look a little bit red. Oh, really? Yeah, the actual Blood Moon isn't going to happen for a couple of years, so we're going to be fine. Wait, what? Now, um, I think we should just get that down and get on with the show, right? Show of the weekend, show of the weekend, show of the weekend, show of the weekend, show of the weekend. Woo, got the last bit of barricade down. <sighs> <laughs> There's a googly eye on this saw. Why? How, I, don't, I don't know why. How has that come to pass? It's just from a rare game. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, that's it, yeah. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Speaking of barricades. Yeah. Let's talk about Les Mis. No, let's talk about uh, Fortnite. Yeah. Fortnite on Switch, because we've both been playing it, right? We have. I don't know if you guys have heard of this game called Fortnite. Yeah. Probably not. No. Uh, because we're kind of on the bleeding edge, aren't we? Yeah, Island yeah, we're on the uh, forefront yeah. of Fortnite. Yeah. yeah. Not yeah. everyone can be as up to the minute as we are, no. uh, which is why it's our job to communicate when we find hidden gems mm -hmm. like Fortnite and bring them to you, the ignorant masses. <laughs> <laughs> no need to thank <laughs> yeah. Fortnite is good, obviously, but we're only just getting to it. Uh, yeah, I think the thing is, like, because I played Player Unknown's Battlegrounds when it was like a thing, mm -hmm. and I felt like I sort of got the measure of it. And then when Fortnite went totally stratospheric and yeah. like, blew it out of the water and became the most popular thing since Minecraft, I was like, oh yeah, but I sort of know what it is, so I didn't really feel like I needed to play yeah. it. But I was wrong because yeah. it's great. It is. Because, like, Fortnite, the main game, was kind of like a building to stop the hordes coming mm. after you type game. Then they kind of switched it up for the Battle Royale mode and it works because the building adds to it, makes it that little bit different. Yes. Makes those final firefights between like the last two people, like these weird building competitions. Yeah, it's really, really <laughs> weird. I feel like the thing that's letting me down when I play Fortnite at the moment is that I can't do that, like lightning uh, fast, like Yeah. Thing. I'm still yeah. I'm still very new at that as well. But a few times I've been able to be like, right, I'm gonna hide in this room, I'm gonna put a wall here and no one will know I'm here. <laughs> Although I always feel subconscious because I'm like, if I put a wall here, everyone will see the wall. And yeah. it's really, really obvious whenever there's something that's like not part of the game world as it yes. is, whenever there's something yes. that a player has built. That's exactly what I was gonna say. He's got it. Um, my favourite thing about Fortnite actually playing it is the sound design. Oh yeah. All of the sounds are really good, but the way that sound works in the game, it just is so satisfying. Like, I don't have an incredibly good sound system set up at home or anything. I've mm -hmm. got like a sound bar under the TV, but even that, just having the directional like left and right stuff, it just, yeah, when you're, huddle, <laughs> you're huddled in a house and you can just hear exactly where around the house the other person is like, dong, 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 like, like running and like, <laughs> why does anyone ever move uncrouched? It's so I know. noisy. But oh. I really like it. it. It sort of makes it viable to ambush people. Right? Yes. If you're a new player who's not very good at that like twitchy yeah. building stuff, yeah. then that's how you that's how you can win. Yeah. You really can place in the in the top ten just by sort of being careful and quiet and maybe encountering just one person or no one. I've never won a game, have you? No. I came second in trying to join you in the live stream game. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and I just managed to come second. Then, yeah. And then uh, when we did the team thing, we came third. Yes. Mainly thanks to me. <laughs> hey. I tried hey. to save you. Hey. But... <laughs> keep moving, uh, keep moving. No way, go Ellen's back, going go back, back, go back, Ellen, go back. At the very, the very least I can do is crawl into cover. No, 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 no. no! Uh, cannon fodder and bait are both important <laughs> attributes on a winning team. Yeah. No, I was supposed to. <laughs> There's only one game mm -hmm. where I where I've even been in with a chance of winning because most of the time if you get to like the last two, the other person is like, yeah, like that. Yeah. 
Whereas I normally haven't picked up loads of like insane no, gear yeah. and I'm not mentally ready for being in the final two. And I'm like, ah, no, no. But I, did, <laughs> I did have one fight recently, me and the other person out of all 100. It was just the two of us on either sides of a tree running around the tree. Like, <laughs> Like when you're playing tag in the playground and someone's hiding behind a table, it was like, no, 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 I'm going to go this way. No, I'm going to go this way. No. And it was so undignified. And I, was, I really hope that other people in the game were watching and be like, so this is what it's like. So these are the best two. And then eventually, uh. and then eventually he ran the other way around the tree and shot me with a gun. <laughs> and what? The only thing you couldn't have <laughs> yes, he would run the other way. He's a genius, a tactical genius. How am I supposed to battle against that? Well, maybe you don't have to battle against him because you can try the new 50-50 mode, which oh. when I started playing Fortnite on my Switch, it had that as the default and I didn't realise. Yeah. So I kept getting very confused as I joined games and couldn't shoot half the people on the map. <laughs> or they didn't like it when you did. Yeah. Can I? That's done nothing. Yeah. Sorry. Bye. Uh, I guess. <laughs> I guess. See you in the top ten. I had the exact same thing. We've both been playing it on Switch. Yeah. Which is kind of interesting as well because I've found the game just to be really enjoyable and, and flawless. But then Mike was watching us playing it on Switch and he was like, how are you playing this? I can't see anything. Like, everything is just like polygonal <laughs> blocks. How are you supposed to identify the players? But it, generally, I, I think the game is pairing me with other people who are on the Switch. Yeah, same. Um, you, can, you can choose which platform so that everyone's yeah. on a level playing field yeah. and stuff. How is it when it's not, not docked? You were playing it sort of just in handheld mode. Yeah. How is that? It is fun. I didn't have headphones in, but like even the inbuilt sound in the Switch kind of gave me a good idea of where people were. It looks fine, it just looks slightly smaller, but yeah. nothing too horrendously difficult to see. Yeah. And those, uh, it was in playing in handheld mode that I got two of my highest scores ever. There you go. Uh, so There's yeah. four left. Four oh left. no! Don't be killed by a squad because your squad was bad. Oh, oh no! Oh! Oh! Third though, but your team placed third. Oh. Team placed third. So hey. technically you helped. So well done, us. Well done, well done the team. Ellen. <laughs> well done, Ellen. Wow, well done, Ellen. That was that was amazing. Yeah, maybe maybe that helped. It would be absolutely <laughs> lethal on a PC, clearly, like with headphones on. Oh yeah. gosh, yeah. wouldn't be able to stop me. My favourite thing in the game is there's a there's a very rare item called the bush. Uh, which, if you get it, you can disguise yourself as a bush. Oh, yeah. yeah. And it's absolutely brilliant because twice I've managed to nab the bush. And it's so good. It completely changes the game because you're not running from cover to cover. Like, you run into the middle of a field and just go... <laughs> <laughs> and you just went. And the disguise is actually like quite effective. When you're aiming, when you pop out of it, you're visible. Yeah. But like I've got a couple of, like I've never felt sneakier just hiding. Like you'll see another player and just slowly the bush is <laughs> easy, easy. And then shot in the back and then get all the loot and the bush moves along. It's, yeah, 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 yeah. It's really satisfying. <laughs> just just watching two players fight right next to you to the death, being like, no one knows the bush is alive. <laughs> and then like one of them wins, starts like, it's busy like going through all of the leavings. And that's when I'm like, the bush was me. <laughs> It's one of those games where I'm like, no, I kind of understand camping because that's part of the game. The game's very simple. It's like everyone has to die except one person. There's only yeah. one winner. So like, I, I feel like any method is, yeah. is kind of valid. I've been killed a lot, but I haven't been killed by anyone where I've been like, oh, that was a cheap yeah. trick or yeah. that was a cheap way to go. It, it's, it's always you feel like, oh, I should have spotted that yeah, because yeah. it's part of I'm like, the oh, game. I, sh that I should have done that. that I'll do that. Yeah, I'll do that next time. Most of the time it's their building prowess that does it and yeah, they're yeah, and a like, better mm, shot or whatever. It so. was a fair cop. Yeah. Or, or they just weren't panicking, clearly. Yeah. Like, I yeah. do, I see someone and I'm like, ah, 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 ah. Yeah, so. and they shoot you while you're reloading. Yeah. <laughs>
Well, there's a pro building control layout, which you can switch to, which makes it a little bit faster to uh, like build things. I've yeah. been trying to use that, but it's still, you still need that to be your first reaction when you encounter someone. And yeah. for me, my first reaction is still like, try and shoot them. Mm -hmm. Whereas I think what you need is like, I've seen someone build cover and then we'll talk about the shooty shooty. Game. <laughs> <laughs> That's yes. happened a couple of times. I'm like, oh, uh, you've got to yeah. adjust for yeah, curvature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I like to sort of fire off a cheeky round, but the thing is, like, the sniper rifles are generally so loud. Aren't yeah. They? If you see someone, it's like, well, someone will get them. <laughs> it really doesn't have to be me. I only have to kill one person. In conclusion, uh, yeah, Fortnite it's is good. fun. The thing is, I would say that if you uh, if you haven't given it a go, it really is quite accessible. It's got a nice vibe, I think. Yeah, like I, the color. It's it's got that sort of Minecrafty thing. It's not like a hardcore serious shooter yeah, thing. Yeah, it's really fun. It's quite chill. The designs are gorgeous and really fun and lighthearted. And, and yeah, it's, it's, and it's free. It's free. It's free. I don't it's think people free. realize this. Yeah. It's free. I'd like download it and I was like, oh, it's free. But surely once I get in, it'll be like pay 20 pounds to play the game. It's no, free. No. It's free. It's very accessible. You don't feel like it's not one of those games where you walk in and then you get sniped immediately. Yeah. yeah. It's good. Mm. Uh, well, Ellen, from the uh, high pressure battle royale situation to the high pressure of a chef's kitchen, I'm going to give you a quiz on Overcooked 2. Overcooked 2 is a sequel to the frenetic, fire-filled kitchen couch co-op game that won our hearts and minds when it was released two years ago. The freshest serving brings online multiplayer to the table, as well as new features like the ability to throw ingredients and even crazier levels. Ooh. Ellen, although it's a crazy cooperative game, mm -hmm. Overcooked is first and foremost about delivering delicious meals to hungry customers, oh, yeah. to provide the joy and comfort that only good food can. What was the best comfort food from your childhood? Oh. What makes you regress like the critic in Ratatouille <laughs> when it touches your tongue? One is cheesy pasta that my mum makes. Um, it was very, it's really simple. It's literally like just butter and cheese melted and mixed into pasta with lots of garlic. <laughs> and it's really good. My mum's Steak pie. Oh, oh lovely. Homemade pastry. Pie. She occasionally now still makes fun for me. Mm. And has James in pastry. Oh! Love <laughs> <laughs> it when people put the like writing in pastry on top of pies. That's that making me emotional. <laughs> My mum used to make uh, mushroom soup. We had like a we had like a nineties blender thing, and we made <laughs> mushroom soup in the blender on Saturdays. Ellen, in Overcooked, tempers can run as hot as the ovens, as you know all too well. <laughs> Someone Who left this get that. Let's get the, the thing off the carrot. stove. Off the stove, off the stove, off the stove. Oh, the stove, off the stove. The stove. oh okay. Luke, I'm it's trying to get stove. plates. Did you just throw that yes, stew away? Yes, because it's pointless and it we need It was perfectly plate. good. Just chop Can loads and stuff while you're on that side. What I'm doing, Ellen. I'm more talking to Luke, who was just standing there. FYI, viewers, Ellen is like vibrating with rage right now. Ellen. So that we can play Overcooked without losing our cool, I want us to role play a few aggravating scenarios that could make anyone a little annoyed. <laughs> and to bring this to life for the viewers at home, we've got special Overcooked avatars of you and I drawn by none other than Phil Duncan from Ghost Town Games, oh makers of Overcooked. Look at oh, him, here's you. And here's me. Well, try and try and try and draw on that joy. Ellen, a number of guests are demanding delicious sushi. But Luke seems intent on only chopping more and more tomatoes for salad. <laughs> How will you address this? <laughs> okay, Luke. Luke. Yeah. You're doing that excellent. I got a tomato job. chef. Yeah, you're. you're all, all we, we're, we're we're good for tomatoes. Where are the rest the of the moment. tomatoes? We're good for tomatoes. Did you say tomatoes? No. What? I'm on it. What? No. I'm on Luke, it. What I've got is yes, this chef. other type of tomato called a fish. Ooh. Now, could you chop that up? Yeah. As long as keep, it's a tomato. Yeah. Keep chopping that up. There you go. All right. Yeah. Well, Ellen, well resolved. <laughs> 
resolved that situation. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you kept your cool. Ellen, it is a busy day in the kitchen and everyone is feeling the strain. Nobody more than you as you delicately slice up another salmon fillet. Mm -hmm. Just as you're about to serve the dish, you notice that Luke is spinning in circles on the spot, <laughs> apparently not doing anything. What do you do? <laughs> Luke, Luke. Yeah, yes, chef. Could you do me an absolute favour? Uh, uh, what? Um, and could you? I can't, I can't talk now, Ellen. Instead of spinning I can't in now, circles. I've got so much to do. There's, I don't. There's, that's dirty. That needs cooking. Well, that's you, about to be on fire. I, I don't know what to do. What you should do, right? Yeah. Is you should go and go to those plates that need washing. <sighs> okay. And instead but, of running in I, a circle, I, you should move your hand in a circle around the plate with a dishcloth okay. as you clean it. Okay. Good? Yes, yes. Good, good. And then once once you've done that, you should go over to that pot and stir it yeah, okay. in a circular motion okay. once you've got all those plates clean. Yes, chef. I'll keep moving in circles. Yeah, just circulate around the kitchen yes, rather chef. than in one spot. Good, well resolved, Ellen. Thank well you. done. Ellen, the kitchen is on fire and Luke is blocking your path to the fire extinguisher. He appears to be cleaning dishes, which is not the priority. How will you resolve this? <laughs> Luke, Luke, I, I, could you could you stop that Chef, for a second? These are dirty. They need to be clean. They're going to be a lot cooking. dirtier in a second if no, that they're getting fire clean. spreads. I, they're getting clean. I'm cleaning them. You're welcome, by the way. Um, yeah, no, I'm I don't really, see what you're doing, by the way, when I'm, you're I'm chewing trying, my ear I'm off. I'm trying to get past Ellen, you. Some of us are to trying get to, to. Please don't raise your voice, Chef. <laughs> I'm trying to get past you to get to the fire extinguisher. Fire there's extinguisher. A, there's a fire over there that's happening. You can't happening. eat that. Yeah, no, you can't this eat the kitchen. fire. Yeah, I know. And it's on fire right now. We, and we thank need you. to go, no. <laughs> you know, sometimes you're a little harsh on me, Chef. But to say that I'm on fire right now, I know that my no, hard no, work no, no, is finally no. paying I mean, off. you will literally be on fire. How are circular motions, by the way? Um. <laughs> <laughs> is it hot in here? Yes, because there is Can a you, fire. Uh, one of us should open a window. No, I mean, we shouldn't open I'm a working, window. So maybe we shouldn't it should open be a window because we sh shouldn't feed oxygen to the fire. Do you, you want to fire? Can we start a fire? No! Could you get the, the, the fire extinguisher and put out the fire? Put a fire? What? No, put out the fire. Over this fire. Just, no, no! Look! <laughs> Luke! Yes. Yes, Jeff. Please move. That's all you had to ask for. <laughs> Please. That's all I was waiting to hear. Fire. You resolved it and uh, some of the restaurant was salvageable. <laughs> some of the chefs <laughs> The chefs all lived, but not well. <laughs> <laughs> Can Final. I just say, you're... <laughs> uh... <laughs> Normally, Luke, you are like, you're my best friend, but then I... I... I was just but then I try and the help rage. with the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> Last time we discussed Overcooked, I put your skills to the test in a mug baking challenge. Do you mm -hmm. remember? Yeah. Where you baked a cake in a mug that everyone agreed tasted strongly. <laughs> <laughs> but Ellen, did you know there's more you can make in a mug than simply cake? According to one online recipe I found, <laughs> I'm going to have you cook a recipe for mug pizza. Don't look so horrified, it's going to be great. <laughs> Welcome, Ellen, to the Outside Extra kitchen. Yay! As you can tell, we have all modern conveniences and facilities. <laughs> There's a microwave, some olive oil, <laughs> etc. I'm going to give you five minutes. Here are the instructions. Go! Ah, right, uh, four tablespoons of flour. Right, flour, flour, flour. I'm going to start opening things. One, three. I, I've not seen whether it's heaped or not, so I'm just going with that. One eighth of a teaspoon of baking powder. Now, of course, a little bit too much, and this will explode out the mug and destroy not only <laughs> the microwave, but us. Hey. Too little, and you'll end up with a flat pizza, and no one wants a flat pizza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, oh, being, being conservative, being, conservative. being cautious, <laughs> being cautious. Meanwhile, um, I cannot get this cheese open. <laughs> I'm going to leave that to you when, Great. when you come to it. Adding some salt, mm -hmm. also an eighth of a teaspoon. That, I'll just yeah. do that. that, that. Okay, mix. Um, I'm doing it in this bowl and then transferring it. Oh, oh okay. actually, no, yeah, I'm going to transfer it now. It's going in the mug. It's going in the mug. Three tablespoons of milk. Milk. 
Cheers. Fresh milk. <laughs> As opposed to off milk or rotten <laughs> milk. No, I'm showing off that the milk is fresh. Mm. Yeah. Gosh, no standing on ceremony. And I'll one get the mil tablespoon out of olive oil. One tablespoon, oh. blimey. Gosh, that's a lot of olive oil. But olive oil is one of the healthier oils. As opposed to... As, as opposed to like... Petrol. Yeah, gasoline. Gasoline, motor oil. And then mix. Okay. I mean, it's looking like dough. There you go. It's looking like a food. It's look <laughs> like a delicious food. A delicious food. It's going quite concretey. <laughs> now, of course, you don't want to overwork the dough, do you, Ellen? Well, you want to mix everything in, and it's hard to mix things in exactly. a mug. Exactly. Yes, it's almost as if a mug <laughs> is not the ideal place to make pizza. I've got like a dough. Good. A deer, a, nice, a good. female deer. Add sauce and cheese. <laughs> oh, right. so there's the sauce. Ooh. It doesn't say how much. So I'm just going to put like a layer, right? Sure. That smells really nice. No time, Ellen. No time to get distracted with the delicious smells. Right. And then we've got to get this boy in the microwave. You know there, it's got a picture of scissors. Yeah. Thanks, there we go. James. Andy, Sandy, oh, thanks, Andy. Sandy. Okay. Oh, right. Cheese is open. James doesn't like cheese. Oh yeah, I forgot this. Um, and then it's some mushrooms, for sliced mushrooms. No time to slice, just shred. Oh, shouldn't have rushed this bit. I don't want this to be the episode where you lose a finger. <laughs> <laughs> Insinuates that there's an episode where you lose a finger. <laughs> yeah, I mean, let's face it, there's going to be an episode where I'm going to lose a finger. I don't want it to be this one. I think you've had your time, Ellen, but I'm going to let you uh, continue. because. Thank you. you. <laughs> That's Actually, no, I don't need that much. <laughs> There's a lot of mushrooms. Yeah, but I really like it. You know, you mushrooms gotta... are delicious. Mushrooms mm. are delicious. Here you go. Mm. Pop, pop, sprinkle a little bit of this this seasoning on top. This I is mean, Italian herb seasoning. There is like that you would seasoning in... in the sauce. Oh, it's right. tomato sure. sauce with herbs, so I won't put okay, too much cool. on. Not too much. There. Right. You don't want to ruin it. <laughs> Microwave for 70 to 80 seconds. It's just over a minute. This is... Pray for us. I think it's coming to life in there. It's because the little bit isn't like oh, the, the turny probably, thing oh, yeah, isn't yeah, yeah. like very it's good. Right. Bear mushroom. Yeah. God. Yeah. I'm gonna choose. Yeah, I'll I want some bits of cheese. Come on, James. Three, two, one. Okay, that is seventy seconds. Okay, there's a sizzling. Mmm! That actually looks quite nice, like the topping. Yeah! There we go, look at that. Okay. You ready to see what your pizza looks like? Mm-hmm. Hey! Not bad! Look at that! That's, Not bad! That's quite a, it's quite a dense uh, dough. Mm -hmm. Here you go, Ellen, if you'd like oh. to give it a taste, okay. the taste test. Can you make pizza in a mug? <laughs> the sauce is really hot. <laughs> It's like a re it's really soft. Good. It's actually quite nice. That's absolutely amazing. I mean, that's my lunch, so that is. that's sorted. <laughs> it would be um, funnier if that was terrible, but yeah, but it's actually it's quite God, nice. God damn it, it's incredible. And it's all natural ingredients. There's no horrible things in there. Well, except the ones we put in. <laughs> Well, it smells good and darn it, it tastes good. Yeah. Ellen, I think you've aced the Overcooked 2 kitchen. Thanks. Well done on your mug pizza. I need to be alone for a second. <laughs> Leave me with the mug pizza. And no matter what you hear, do not open the door. <laughs> Let's find out what you guys have been saying in, in the, the comments. comments. <laughs> Last week, we looked at some more hiding places in games that we can't believe we got away with, this time as suggested by you, and gave away another hiding place in the process. Nothing's more annoying than someone giving away your hiding spot while you're trying to be sneaky. Like, if I were to tell you that Andy's actually behind you right now. Oh, come on, I nearly had them. Many viewers were startled and confused by this revelation, including Lucas Catano, who said, Luke, Andy is behind you right now. Me, I didn't know that Andy was a wall. He is the very master of disguise. And that's not the only trick up his sleeve. What makes a master of sleight of hand? Misdirection. Like how you were so busy watching my hand, you didn't notice the dove that flew out of my jacket. There was no dove. 
What, really? Oh, crap. That impressed exquisite corpse who said, that was a distinctly not bad back palm, Andy. If you ever feel like quitting the day job, my two pirate magic act, Nos Dos Piratas, has been seriously lacking a second pirate. We will pass the message on. As soon as we find him. Elsewhere, and by that we literally mean the place in Tamriel, we continued Kipper's adventures in his homeland, making the most of the various mods available on Xbox One. So this is the cheat room mod. It teleports you to this magical cheating room. What? These things are filled with every item in the game. What? Oh! Oh! Is he dead? No, he was so no, close. No, has he glitched again? Yeah. You can't just glitch and survive, that's not fair. Some people saw hypocrisy in your cries, Luke, such as Beth Bloomer, who said, you can't just glitch and survive, that's not fair, says Luke while teleporting to the cheat room. <laughs> Look, I can't control kippers. That cat's a law unto himself. But Luke, you literally hold the controls when we a play. A law unto himself. Kippers, totally not me, also played around with a special resizing button. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody just better back off. John O'Neill spotted an important learning moment. Now Luke can know how it is to be Ellen. Hey, I'm not that small. So important. Well, another learning moment took place during our Fortnite livestream with Mike, which the wonderful Bendix of Eurogamer stepped in for and you followed my lead. I'm just following Ellen. She's, yeah. she, she's taking point, clearly. <laughs> Sarah Shoot says, that's it, Luke. Bravely cower behind Ellen. <laughs> Bra yeah, bravely though. <laughs> Yes, you did help, but some, such as AJ, noticed a flaw in my plan. Ellen? The shield? Surely she's far too small. Damn it. Finally! In Show of the Weekend, I slightly ruined Ellen's thank you plans for reaching 500,000 subscribers. <sighs> wow. Half a million cards. Now, just to put each of them into their already written corresponding envelope and then a juice to celebrate. Oh, juice, what flavour? Ellen, it's going to be okay. <laughs> the juice is fine. <laughs> right, should we crack on? Lots of people were angry with you, Luke, including Deacon the Recon, who said, this is worse than the time I didn't get my letter from Hogwarts. I'm sorry. Well, saying sorry isn't going to be enough, Luke, as Nick Jeffrey notes. So I am not getting a handwritten thank you card. So I guess Luke now has half a million apology cards to write. What? No, <laughs> hang on, Ellen. Just one second, because there was a fault in your plan from the start. This comment to mimic you is adorable nose. Wait, how did Ellen get everyone's address? Or was she just going to put usernames on them and hope for the best? Isn't that how the... Post works. No, Ellen, you have to put an address on things. What, like an email address? No, like, a, like an ad address address. Luke, we're back in Art Corner. Yes! And this sketchbook has been imbued with magical properties. About time. Because it can show video. What? For some reason, mo moving images. This sounds impressive. These amazing things. Can you check it out? Let's see, I don't <laughs> believe you. First one. I don't believe you. Is this something oh impressive? My. Oh my gosh, it's true! It's you, Dob! Hey! It's little Dob! And uh, nearly getting hit by an arrow, which Aww. misses, fortunately. And then nearly getting hit by Eldritch Blast, which Man. also misses. Dob just can't catch a break, can he? No. So this is a, this is a brilliant bit of uh, fan art, fan I animation by Incressive on Twitter. This is from our first D&D &D campaign. Yeah! So it's a proper proper retro bit of D&D &D yeah. stuff. It's the bit where Prudence aims a lightning bolt at that poor guard <laughs> without checking if Dob is in the location first. <laughs> which I just think is such a callous thing to yeah, do. I can't imagine yeah, what goes yeah. through the mind of someone who, who doesn't Who check would like attack a, party member. a guard stood right next to a party member? Like, it makes me I, sick. I wouldn't. I it makes me it makes me sick. Should we uh should we move on? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so a while ago we featured these cute little animation sprites. Oh yeah, like Chief D &D Bradley. Yeah. Who like kind of move and have little little motion. Hair bobs around. So someone has been inspired by that yeah. and made it into a little pretend dungeon oh, crawler in cool. Unity! Oh let's watch it.
So that was made by Hooligan Labs. And it's so cute, yeah. little Skelly Bob. Skelly Bob. Why is everyone call me Bob? I love that. That's such a good name for a skeleton. <laughs> I like his little cape as well. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's and good. I, I love the animation of Marilyn turning into the little cat. Yeah, turning into a cat. Let's see that little cat poof once more. <laughs> Amazing. So good. <laughs> I love it. Thank you very much. You know mm. how you advertised your human-shaped furniture? Yeah, yeah. Someone on Twitter decided to make a 3D prototype <gasps> using a 3D printer. Dreams become real. Ah! Oh my gosh. Oh, it looks so good. It is. Oh, the thing I really like about this is the little um, hat. The yeah. little like, hat that they've kind of put, it's good. on it. It's good. It's proof of concept. Yes. Investors. Yes. Call me. Yes. Because this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Mm -hmm. I mean, you probably literally will never have the opportunity to invest in <laughs> something like this again. Or indeed ever, because I don't know how to make a company. But <laughs> yeah, that was made by the wonderful AJ Mersero on Twitter. And it's so <laughs> it's 3D, so good. 3D printing animations. animations. You guys are really stepping your game up. So good. Thank you so much to everyone who always sends our, our way. And don't forget, you can do it all across our social medias. Mm -hmm. It's all good. We love it. It's we love amazing. checking it out. It You're so our, talented. It well makes done. our hearts glow like that old Ready Break envelope. Wow, that's a throwback. So Ellen, we started this show of the weekend mm -hmm. with a barricade built yeah. and hunger in our bellies. Yeah. But we end it with <laughs> now a... empty pizza. Have you eaten it? No. <laughs> you were supposed to say something to eat in the outro. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> and now it's all gone. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> well, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you want to come see us attempt uh, different sorts of challenges, probably not mug pizza, <laughs> uh, but you know, some, something that we don't yet know about, then mm -hmm. come and see us at EGX <gasps> yes. in Birmingham uh, in uh, the, towards the end of September. September, yeah. Uh, we are going to be doing Showdown of the Week live. On the Friday, awesome. five o'clock. That's right. Andy is, Andy is the quiz master. Uh, he's going to be putting us through the ringer. Uh, it's going to be really intense and there are still tickets available for that. Mm -hmm. And if you are coming to EGX, don't forget that every day we are doing meet and greets and you don't need an extra ticket for those, just your EGX ticket. Yes. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll get you there. Yeah. Uh, so we really hope to see some of you again. Yeah. Um, but for now, I think, Ellen, it's probably about time we made several more helpings of mug pizza yes. because yes. everyone is going to want some. I think, I think we are going mm. to. It's, it's really good. I think it's just for the mug. Scrape the cheese. Just going to scrape the cheese, <laughs> the Ellen Rose story.